Hi, welcome to my next series of tutorials about creating courses in Moodle. Yesterday I went through the steps of installing Moodle locally for development and today I'm going to start the steps of creating a course. My plan is to break down the steps of creating a course into separate videos so I'm not going to be covering everything all the way through in one video. So you have to just keep watching as I uh, crank these out. Okay, uh, first we need to get our local installation of Moodle running. So I'm going to launch MAMP in order to get the MAMP stack up and running. And here it goes. It's going to start the servers. And then here we go. Localhost is booting up. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Moodle folder and that should take me to the uh, installation of Moodle. I'm going to close this tab because we don't need to see that. Okay, so here we are. We're on the Moodle site. It looks pretty boring, but that doesn't matter right now. We're just going to focus on getting a new course going. So the first thing I need to do is I need to log in. And to do that, there's probably a couple of different ways I could... Um, oh, it looks like I'm already logged in. But let, let me log out. Sorry, I was rehearsing this. Okay, this is what actually you would see if you were logged out. And like I was saying, it's pretty boring. Let's go ahead and log in. You would see the login right here. Okay. Admin. Okay. Okay, so now what's happened is I'm logged in and as you can see uh, up here it's um, it's basically taking me to the dashboard. See the word dashboard there. Okay, so let's get a new course started. So if you look on the, the left, you've got these two blocks here. You've got navigation and administration. And you'll notice under navigation, you'll see courses. And if I open up courses, I don't see anything. That's because those that's where courses that I'm enrolled in or teaching or administering, uh, that's where those will show up. Uh, to create new courses though, I need to actually go to here, the administration block. And so I'm going to click open site administration. And then click open courses and click manage courses and categories. And by the way, notice you don't see something that just says add a new course. You actually have to do it this way. There are probably a easier way of doing this but this is how we're going to do it for right now okay so we're on the course and category management page and there's two spots here we've got course categories and this thing that says miscellaneous what this actually is is the miscellaneous category so if I had a category say biology or art history you would be seeing it right here right now it just says miscellaneous and I'm okay with that I don't care about the categories I'm more concerned about getting a new course going so let's go ahead and click create new course and now here we are on the add a new course page and there's a lot of stuff, if you scroll down, a lot of stuff we're going to need to cover, and I'm hoping to cover those in separate videos. Right now, I just want to get the minimum, um, uh, do whatever the minimum amount of work is to get this going. So I'm going to type in, for the four course full name, installing Moodle for... Uh, installing Moodle locally 
for development. Development. And then for the short name, which is actually what would appear over here under courses, I'm going to just type in installing Moodle locally. And the reason I'm putting in locally there is because there were some security uh, features that uh, we kind of ignored because we're just doing a local installation. If I was going to install this live, I would want to um, you know, change the procedures. Uh, that's it. That's all we need to do. So I'm just going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, click Save and Return. And then what that's going to do is takes us back to the course and category management page. You can see right here, we've got the installing Moodle locally for development. We've got our course created. And that's it. That's all we're going to cover in this movie. In the next movie, what we'll do is we'll edit this course and we'll fill in uh, more of the blanks starting with uh, the general course settings. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying this. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks.